everybody, I'm the Lazy Kiwi and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. So in today's video, I decided to make another entrance to one of the areas that I'm creating and today's entrance area is going to be to the America section and the animal that we're adding is the llamas. I really, really like the llamas in these in the game I've never actually made a habitat for them before today so I was really excited to make this habitat and I know that the llamas were not originally you were not able to have guests enter their habitat but they've changed that a little while ago and I'm really happy about that because today I was able to create a walk-in habitat for the llamas and I absolutely love how it turned out. At first I really wasn't that happy about it like I was playing and I was looking at it and I, you know how you just want to scrap absolutely everything that you're doing and start over completely from the beginning well today was one of the days that i decided not to completely start over and i'm actually really happy that i didn't because i really do like how it turned out the habitat is on the smaller side considering that it's quite a few llamas in the habitat i do make it a bit bigger than it is currently that you're seeing it right now like it's not going to be this small the path is going to be a lot larger and well not a lot larger like wider it's going to be a lot longer and yeah the guests <laughs> you will see a little bit later on in the video but the guests they like ran in the second that i played and there were llamas in this habitat they ran they ran inside so quickly and i was kind of scared that it was gonna be like that the whole time that i had this habitat but luckily not luckily it was like it got better <laughs> as time went on i will of course do a live like time what what do you call it oh a live walkthrough yeah at the end of this video so that we can see it everything as it is done because i don't do everything in this speed build i do make the area a little bit prettier and make the entrance and everything to this area um off camera so that you will see once i'm done with the speed build but i did also add a I think a keeper's hut and a trade center in here as well. I don't think it really makes a difference how many trade centers you have. Like, I don't know if it actually does make a difference. But yeah, I really did have a lot of fun creating this llama habitat. And I really enjoy playing this game. Like, I really want to make a lot more habitats. I don't really know where I'm going to go with this zoo in particular. I don't think it's going to be that large. Like, not a massive zoo or anything because my computer is not going to be able to handle that as well as recording like if I was just making the zoo it probably would have been fine but since I'm recording as well as making the zoo I need to keep in mind that my PC can only take that much so this zoo probably isn't going to be ginormous but I at least want to <clears throat> feel like I've completed most of the areas so let's say the I do have five sections I have the Africa section I have the America section which we are currently busy with we have the Australia section the Asia Asia section and the aquatic section so it's all A's and I love that so I basically want to at least finish them off before I decide that I'm done with the zoo because it's gonna take a while of course the zoos are not that quick to make but I definitely don't want to leave it like oh there's only one animal in each section that's definitely not something that I want to do so let me know what animal you guys would like to see next I have decided that I'm going to make each and every section like entrance first so whether you want to see an aquatic in asia or an australian animal let me know i don't have the australia pack just yet but there is going to be a special soon i'm hoping on steam so that i can buy it <laughs> but yeah as you can see the llamas are already in the habitat and oh the guests as soon as they're in you're gonna see in like a little bit but it's crazy how many guests wait inside this habitat but 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to creating the zoo further. And if you guys have any ideas of things that you would like to see, like specific animals you guys would love to see in the zoo, do let me know. I am more than happy to make a lot of different habitats. I'm really enjoying this game currently, like everything about it. It's so, so fun. These videos do take me a while longer to make those. So they're probably going to be once a week. And if I'm really struggling with something, maybe every other week but so far i've been doing pretty good with once a week so hopefully i can keep that up but this is where i decided that this path is not gonna work i'm gonna have to like change it up a little bit and i did this habitat actually took me a lot less time than i thought it would i thought it was gonna take me a very long time to create this habitat but it actually went pretty quickly so i'm actually really happy with how fast this was so this video might be a bit shorter than some of my other videos but that's because this habitat was really not that hard to hard to make so yeah i did really enjoy it though but let me know what you guys think about it so far because i know at this point i was kind of feeling it a bit more than i was at the beginning of this habitat like i was looking at it i was hating it so much but now i'm quite happy with it at this point so let me know what you guys think about it the plants in this game make the biggest difference i have to i have to admit that like I could sit here doing something for seven years thinking it's the absolute ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then I add a few plants and I love it. So <laughs> pro tip of the day, add plants if you're ever like wondering why your stuff is ugly. Just add a bunch of plants. It's definitely going to work. It. <laughs> but I also don't know what I want to do at the back of this habitat because it is like raised well not raised down <laughs> it's sunken down a lot so i don't know what i'm gonna do at the back of this habitat i might just leave it like just a few trees and stuff because i or i might take a path back there and make another habitat or something i'm really not sure where i want to go with this and i also want to do a bit more buildings like interiors i'm not really good with that but i really would like to get better because i see people do it all the time and i'm so jealous and i really want to make that in my game so i might be doing a lot more interiors in the future which is very very exciting <laughs> But yeah, I do also mention this at the end of the video once I do the live mode because I usually record that part first whilst this part where I do the speed build I record last. So it's a bit like, it's a bit weird. <laughs> but I do mention that I would really like to know if you guys want to have your names on some of the animals. I do speak a bit more about that at the end. But basically just if you want to have your name on an animal just comment it down below and comment which animal in my zoo you would like to be named after because I feel like that is so cute and I've seen people do it before and I've always wanted to do that so yeah. But also I also have to say like the rocks in this game also make a very big difference just like the plants if you add a few rocks voila best thing ever. <laughs> but yeah I... <laughs> I'm probably going to be making... Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say. I completely forgot that I wanted to say this, but there's not a lot of the speed build left, so I'm just going to say this now. I know that I've mentioned in the last episode that we were going to go in order like around like the circle area. There are the five paths, and last time I did the Africa section, I said we were going to do the path like right next to that one. Completely decided against that because I wanted that to be the Australia section. So we went straight across the pond to the other side, and we're starting with the South America. So if you were wondering why this isn't in the area that I said it was going to be, that is why. It's because I just decided that's going to be the Australia section. I don't yet have the Australia pack, so I'm just going to continue on with America. And that is why we're here currently. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite pack is in this game because I don't have every single pack just yet And I would like to buy some more. I know I'm gonna get the Australia pack because well 
I have the Australia section that I want to do. So the Australia pack is definitely on my wish list. Well, all of them are technically on my wish list. But, <laughs> but for now, for this zoo, I'm not quite sure what I want to get next besides the Australia pack. So let me know what your favorite pack is so that I can get a little bit of info on what are what's good for me to get next. So yeah. But I do think I'm going to leave you guys for the next little bits where I do the foliage and you can just listen to the cute little music and we'll definitely see you guys at the end of this video when i do the walkthrough live because that is a lot of fun <laughs> i i love doing it that way let me know if you guys actually like the um live mode at the end where i actually take you through the habitat or if you guys would rather just see me do what do you call it um cinematics at the end of the video so yeah <laughs> I will see you guys in a moment. So from the entrance, if we walk this way, we find the America section. So I did do up this area a little bit, like I made it look pretty. And this I didn't do on camera because these things take me a while to make it look pretty and stuff. So I usually don't do it on camera. But if we walk through over to this way, it says big letters welcome to america the stone and everything i definitely want to do this with most habitats unless it has an overpass like all the way over there because i'm planning on doing maybe one more overpass into an area i'm not sure where yet i think in the asia section i'm going to be doing that but if we walk through here we immediately find the south america section well the first part i think i'm gonna do south america and then further down more just plain america things but this side is definitely not finished yet i'm probably gonna put the capuchin monkeys on this side that's what i'm thinking at least um it's either then them or some kind of reptile that i'm thinking but if we walk over this way we are going to find the habitat i did over here put some llamas because i felt like that was a really cute and over here we also have some information that i did custom i didn't know that these were going to be so light if i knew i would have made them a bit darker but you know it's too late now and from over here we can have a peek into the habitat and it's really nice to look at them when they're eating over here I will play once I'm inside the habitat so that they can actually move but for now for lagging purposes I'm not gonna play just yet and over here we also have this information which again if I knew it was gonna be that light I would have made it a bit darker but now let us enter the habitat from this side I did also obscure a lot of the viewing points from over here because I kind of want everybody to enter the habitat to see everything up close so if we run along over to this way let me see how it's actually gonna be if I do play it so, oh the gate is gonna close of course <laughs> But we walk through, of course there's going to be a lot of people, so I'm just going to make myself a little bit taller than them so that we don't look into their little faces every single time. But we walk down and we find the beautiful, beautiful llamas. I also wanted to say, I don't know if I said this in the speed build portion because I'm recording this part before the speed build portion. So I might repeat myself a couple times with a few things. But if you guys have any, oh. I'm on a rock how do I okay if you guys have any 
names that you guys would like to give to any of the animals like you would like to be a llama and your name is Susie I will absolutely name the llama Susie after you so yeah I think that's a really fun thing so if you guys would like to be an animal in my zoo let me know down below in the comments and I would absolutely love to name you after one of the animals that is already in my zoo like please don't say oh I want to be a tiger and I'm John because I don't yet have any tigers obviously so I'm not gonna be able to name you after a tiger since there isn't any just yet I did also put some information like boards in the habitat but I really do like how this turned out it's really really pretty the llamas also have their own little roofed section like their own little housey and then my favorite viewing personally of this whole entire habitat is from over here so if you go down a little bit to be on their view I really like this viewing because you can see a lot of the llamas when they're relaxing over here when they're up there when they're over there I really do like this view and then walking along further I'm firstly walking with the guest path so that you guys can see their view basically but it's really nice I really do like this habitat let me know what you guys think about it because I don't know I was really not feeling it at first but then when I put the plants in when I did the terrain and the rock work it really got a lot better and then you just exit over here again of course you can enter from this side but it makes a lot more sense to me if you enter from that side but the game doesn't have one-way paths unfortunately that would have been amazing for over here but basically what I wanted to say with the pathways I don't think I'm going to ever connect any of these sections later on so let's say the South America section is never gonna touch the aquatic section oh I also don't think I showed you this this path is gonna be the aquatic section this one is gonna be Asia and this one is gonna be Australia so yeah that is the sections that I chose in the end they all start with A as well and I think that is so fun I really do like that a lot <laughs> but yeah so basically what I mean with the paths never connecting so let me go this side um, let's say this is the Asia, Asia section it is never ever going to connect up this way to the Africa section instead at some points I'm just gonna do rounded off sections or stuff like that so that the path never connects with any other area that might cause a lot of traffic but I'd rather have it that way than oh you walk into the Asia, Asia section oh that's the, that's the Australia I'm sorry anyway you walk into the Asia section and the next moment you're in the aquatic section and you have no idea what's going on <laughs> so yeah let me know what you guys think about that and yeah, I think that's just about it for this video. Let me know what animal you guys would like to see next time. And do subscribe if you guys like this video. And like hit the like button as well. And hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss another episode. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I will definitely see you all in another video. Goodbye, everybody.